Hi Libra, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back my Cyber Angels and a new viewers. If you're new, please subscribe and hit the bell on all, then you'll be notified as I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Give away free cards or there might be another theme like discussions or whatever. So come and join us. This is your roman a romance reading for uh, July 2020. You are third place because I received 70 likes from you Libra. Awesome, thank you. And make sure that you are um, getting notified uh, by hitting that bell on all. You're awesome my cyber angels and I love you dearly and I appreciate your th likes and thumbs up. Unfortunately, I think the competition will be called off because nobody joined in the competition. So, um, uh, I'm sorry about that, but there was a great discussion on Friday night um, as I was discussing um, the competition, but uh, it soon took a life uh, of its own discussion and everybody interacted and I think that's great. And what's come out of this discussion is that a lot of people would like to have more discussions or interaction uh, more often. So after the summer, we'll ha hold another evening of interaction. Now, I'm using the middle card, like in the weeklies, as the querent or the overall energy card. And these are not the days in the week, but the four weeks in the month. So, um, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then I'm using also the corner cards to clarify the cards around it and vice versa. So, if you've been to the channel before, then you know how it works. And I've got the answer of the angels. Sorry, it should be like this. The romance deck, um, the that way. The surrender deck and the answer of the angels. That is how I set it up. Okay, so let's get started. If you would like more information or a one-on-one -on -one reading, then the information is below the video and also in the top right hand corner. The first card that we have um, is the Querence card or the overall energy. We're going into a um, better phase or rather you are Libra. Although we are in Cancer at this moment and at the end of the month in Leo, this is the energy of nurturing, loving, um, passion, sensuality and sexuality, you might be feeling more excited uh, because you might be in love or you might have a fantastic relationship. If not, you might be just starting a new relationship because you've got the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles for me is also a lot like the Nine of Cups, a wish coming true. Things are getting better and, but, uh, and the Pentacles stands for uh, dur uh, durability, um, materialism, something tangible um, and also for long term. So perhaps you've got a relationship that is going on strongly and is going into a better phase even if you've been with each other for a long, long time time nine days nine hours or nine years who knows you've passed the seven year itch <laughs> anyway you are going into a better phase if you're not hooked up for those that be are not hooked up because obviously I'm reading for thousands of people thank goodness and um, if you're not hooked up you might be leaving your phase of being single behind you because you're going into a next phase um, why am I saying that well for two reasons because it's an end of a phase and you might have um, uh, taken better care of yourself and now you're looking voluptuous also because it is the time of cancer nurturing yourself and nurturing others so that is positive and it is uh, also a love and passion uh, energy uh, especially for the next three to four weeks 
Okay. Um, and because you've got recognition in the second week. But we'll get there. You've been planning and strat uh, strat uh, strategically been working. And you are there because you've been making plans. Since you've got the two of rods, you wanted a better future. Perhaps you didn't have enough money um, to buy that house and you were focused on your career and now you might have finished your study or you might have finished one project and you're moving on to the next project. You're willing, you have made room for somebody to come in if you haven't got anybody and you're ready. If you have, um, if you are coupled up, then perhaps you've been finishing your study because the pentacles is uh, material and it means that you have been uh, working and doing your uh, diplomas or getting your certificate because in the second week, like I said, you've got recognition. So either way, you've been uh, privately working on yourself or um, publicly. And it is the summer holidays, of course, um, as it is July. So your plans are coming to fruition, big time, and with durability and for long term. So now you are ready to hook up and carry on into a fully fledged relationship for long term and not just for a fling. And if you are ready and you are you are living together or you you're hooked up or you're married, uh, then you are ready for the next stage, a new beginning, perhaps uh, buying that house now that you've got the money or a steady job because you've got recognition in the second week. And you might be getting you, you've had that job offer or you might be starting a business of your own. So now you can get to the next step, a new level. And that is a new job, uh, your own business, or perhaps getting pregnant. Perhaps you want, and you in, you are steady in your relationship, then you might want to extend the family. Like I said, if you are on your own, you are being recognized, and most probably by an air sign. Okay, most probably by an air sign, because those are the two people in your um, reading. Um, it could be the king of there, that could be a Gemini or a Libra, as that's the queen of swords. But don't exclude uh, Aquarius. Okay. Now, we I do have the ring here, I see, and we do have the king and queen of swords, so they are facing each other. Look at them. They are facing... So to me, that speaks of coupling up for those that are single. Okay, you've been working on yourself and you're ready to couple up. So, that is exciting. Be careful, you don't want a holiday romance. Um, that's what I'm saying. You want something for a long term. And with durability. Oh, it looks really great. And it might be happening in the third week and you this card the king of swords is in the third week and you've got the three of pentacles so three is dominant perhaps three days from now and um, whilst I'm doing this reading as I'm doing this reading on the 28th so perhaps on the 2nd of July or the 1st of July you might meet that beautiful Gemini the King of Swords is um, a man that has his emotions under control. He's spontaneous. He's humor, uh, hum humoristic. Uh, sorry, that's Dutch. He has a lot of, of humor. He's got a sense of humor, but he is also very clear because he might be a, uh, uh, a well-learned or well-read person. Um, he usually is a person uh, that is in a judicial system or in uh, as they the swords stand for justice uh, wisdom and communication he can sp you don't uh, underestimate him Libra because you are uh, 
you might be two peas in a pod because you have the, a lot of the same qualities um, as the king of air like I said it is Gemini he does represent Gemini but don't exclude, uh, exclude uh, Libra or Aquarius okay and this could be you if you're the man or and we've got the woman here so you are in your element at uh, in the third week and the fourth week more so than at the beginning of the month although you have the recognition um, the second week of the month something will become clear to you perhaps you might have been fighting for something you've been strategic and you've been planning and now you've got justice you've got recognition so justice is yours the king of swords also stands for justice okay <coughs> and now it, that has come to an end and it is um, bearing fruit because you've got lots of money now coming in okay or you might have invested in something and you've been planning to do this and you it's coming to fruition and it's bringing its returns it's becoming clear to you um, that this is happening um, the king are uh, coming back to the king of swords if you are meeting a Gemini uh, or an air sign they're strategic they do think and a lot of people and they do listen because in order to if you e take an advocate or a bookkeeper they have to listen very well and take their time to get clarity because if they don't listen then they don't know what um, they are looking for or what they have to find they will take the time but they will cut straight through to the core and they are quite di uh, direct and uh, the, uh, yeah um, be careful try to um, go with the flow with them I know that a lot of people can't um, understand uh, the Gemini's for instance um, or the air signs especially the Gemini's because um, they can do they can multitask and it looks like if they uh, they they don't listen but they do if it's not clear to them they will come back to you and say excuse me what did you mean by that and they can be very direct and remember sometimes that they're, they're very they're too fast for their own good and because the swords do cut on both sides so they can be very sharp they can be an also sharp tongued so don't take it too hard ask for clarity and make sure that you don't get hurt if this is you or whether it's an other air sign so and you do go for the jugular okay <laughs> even if you're a couple if you're coupling up with uh, a Libra or with a Gemini or an Aquarian then remember uh, you both have the same talents and gifts a lot of the same qualities because that is what attracted you to each other the swiftness of thinking the swiftness of talking um, but sometimes it just feels as if you are not being heard so ask use that talent or that gift of communication get clarity that's what you stand for and don't procrastinate ask be direct be true to your sign but remember every sign is also made out of other planets and energies and elements like you might be a, 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 a Libra but a Gemini rising or a Gemini moon and whatever other rising and that came also again into the conversation on or discussion on Friday and it's nice to interact so be clear with what you want but also be gentle with that tongue okay be careful what you say and how you say it you catch more uh, you will get catch more flies or m more partners or more choices or the people will be more attracted to you if you speak with a silk tongue you'll catch more flies with honey than with vinegar and that goes in third week as well as in the fourth week
So like I said, you might be meeting a Libra yourself, Libra. As you have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords, she is called the Ice Queen or the Widow. But I'm, I tell you, there's a load of Geminis or Libras that are the Queen of Swords and they can be icy, but they don't have to be. They've just got the, the air signs just have their emotions under control and their, and especially the Queen and King of course, because they have reached that status, not for nothing, but because they do listen, because they do communicate in such a way that it draws attention and shows people that they know what they're doing and that they're fighting for clarity, justice and especially <coughs> they will let you know whether uh, they are attracted to you and whether you are attracted to them. You will sometimes pa say something too quick and you've said it when you shouldn't have said it. You sometimes pass your, uh, I don't know how you say it in English, pass your mouth by and I d that is translated literally from Dutch but what I'm saying is that sometimes you have to, you're not allowed to say that I love you or I fancy you because somebody's married and you've said it and it's out in the open and you shouldn't have said it so be careful okay so it's a very uh, uh, s s uh, exciting and busy time at the end of the month you're coming out of your relaxation mode in being in your own little world in your own little garden okay you're being recognized Libra Ooh, especially in love and it's going to be ooh, if if you if you are in love with um with an air sign they fall for you hook line and sinker and they don't want to be cut because once they are hurt they are desperately hurt and very deeply okay now the first card we have in the corner is the ring I'm not using the numerology or the cartomancy sign I'm just using the Lenormand sign you've got the ring so there will be loads of romantic evenings or afternoons going out to dinner with each other getting to know each other talking with each other look at this couple just sitting there having a glass of wine and there might be an offer of love coming to you uh, in a form of a partnership as the ring means partnerships getting together getting married bonding is not only uh, the ring is not only bo uh, getting married but also bonding the, the last two weeks of uh, July it might be your holiday uh, or you might be going on holiday with an other air sign but it's going to be a good holiday because you you can communicate with each other like no other you've been planning for this and it's a good communication because the nine is a positive card there's an ending and a new beginning the ending of being alone like I said and perhaps a new beginning being together with the other air sign you might have been hoping for this uh, and there might um, you know there will be two incomes will be easier than just one then we have the crossroads and like I said there might be more there might be three so make sure there's no third party um, in the relationship or that any anybody um, that could disturb you the balance within your relationship if you are hooked up and if you're not hooked up make sure that you make the right choice choice be clear communicate clearly and subtly being gentle in communication being loving you um, the do the woo and the coo yeah woohoo okay you can do the walk so do the talk and do it nicely awesome because you are in somebody's, you are, ah, love is in the eye of the beholder, okay? So somebody is beholding you on, on a high place. 
they might have not come out uh, uh, they might not have come out but you've got more than more choices because you're at the crossroads so you might have to choose between two people you don't want a fifth wheel on the wagon do you like a third person in the party a triangle is no good in relationships in business or in love then we have the stalk there might be somebody that's pregnant that could also be the choice will I get married or will I not get married but there will be a 360 degrees turn round because clarity will come to you okay you will do your groundwork you will do your research before you get hooked up even if it is a pregnancy there is a new beginning it could be a new relationship or it could be a pregnancy you could hear of a pregnancy if you are too mature some you might be hooking up with somebody that's going to become a grandmother or a grandfather you might be moving in together or buying a house together and moving into the new house as the stalks also means moving home and in the other card we have the lily you might start also a business partnership as the lily means luck in business but also in work so the work that you have done to get this relationship into balance or to, 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 to being together um, is paying off luck is there and the couple is there so there you go you might seek advice this could be from a professional or uh, somebody that's older and by the professional that could be a doctor you might seek advice from a doctor with regards to a pregnancy or wanting to get pregnant and I think you will but it could be nine is significant so it could be in the ninth month and pregnancy is also nine months so it might be in September that you're getting pregnant um, or because we've got nine here pregnancy is nine months so yes it, 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 there is luck okay you might be getting married because of this pregnancy something is birthing okay release your ex the time has come to clear your energy yes you can't have a new love if that is what you wish you have to let go of the old to make room for the new and yes we do have the uh, judicial cards here so yes uh, some of you might be getting a divorce and that could be the end that could be the nine that could be the money that's coming in from the divorce you're getting recognition from the judge or the jury or the advocate that has been fighting on your behalf getting clarity that you do need the money to uh, support the children or this new or to be able to buy this new home okay Libra this is outrageous this 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 reading Capricorn got a life of its own it's so long 35 minutes so you, you know it's good when a reading comes together and when it takes a life of its own because then the uh, reading or the message is meant for your ears especially if you are listening now it is healthy to set boundaries in your relationship practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence yes be clear like I said there you go now I said if any of you are saying will I get pregnant this week or this month then l listen back because I said nine is significant so it could be September or in nine months time not the right time right now but nine is significant that is definitely coming to the forefront okay 
because you're going up from 2 to 3 okay so something is happening let's have a look um, just No, sorry, I was just uh, um, figuring her out with numbers as well. So you might get pregnant or you might get married if your question is, will I get married now because you've got the ring here? No, the time won't be right. So it might be happening in September or in nine weeks. Something is moving to nine. Okay. The angels do. I don't. I was. I said I wouldn't do the numbers, but you do have 22 here. So the angels have your back. Two and two is um, four proper foundations. And here you're moving home. So you might be your first home. So it could be the first proper foundations that you're going to stay there and be happy and being balanced, coming out of difficulties, going into a beautiful force <laughs> okay a beautiful time i hope you have enjoyed this reading please subscribe hit uh, the bell and like if you would like to be the first one next month in your readings take care and i hope to see you in the life love cyber mum and stay safe and be blessed